This is uh, just about the stupidest fucking thing I think I've ever seen. Uh, I'm making a second video today, tonight anyway, because I saw it, especially because I saw it, because this is a level of stupidity that I don't normally encounter. And I think that it should be said that this is not, you know, a good example for where we want the human race to be going. And uh, I'm just, I'm just going to get into it. This is really fucking stupid. So there was this kid and he played Minecraft a lot and his, um, his parents shittily parented him and they let him come to school. Um, and he had like a, like a sledgehammer, a steak knife, a gun with no firing pin and a couple bullets. And he actually didn't show that around anyone. He, the news, the news report claims that he did though. And basically they did an interview with his dad and his dad was said in his, his Southern accent, well, you know, he liked to play video games. You know, he played Minecraft, you know, every day for about an hour. And, uh, you know, all those games, you know, they're going out because, you know, just because I was inattentive and I set him in front of the Xbox instead of actually parenting him. And just because I showed him a lot of violent media and all that, you know, it's got to be the harmless video games fault. You know, it's, uh, my, you know, my nine year olds aren't stupid. Uh, you know, this is clearly because of the video games. You know, it's not just because he's barely into, you know, his uh, conventional morality. It's not because. He's barely, you know, in the third stage of Piaget's theories of development. Uh, you know, it's not that his prefrontal cortex isn't attached even in, in his brain yet. And that the pruning process in his brain hasn't even begun. So his judgment is poor. It's those evil fucking video games. You know, it's not, not because the brain is underdeveloped. It's not because he still has to learn. It's not because he's immature. It's the fucking video games that done it. Children are just tiny adults with fully functioning adult brains with properly pruned neural pathways and properly functioned sections of the entire brain. And God fucking damn it. If I hear one more word about children not being able to make good decisions for themselves, then I'm going to fuck someone's ass up. I swear to God. I mean, when I was nine years old, I was already raising a family and going to the junior college in Arlen, Texas. God fucking damn it. Let me lay this down for you, okay? Children's brains are not fully developed. They have these giant bundles of neural fibers everywhere, and it takes longer for them to process information and incorporate information. Not only that, but in this stage of development, especially when you're nine, you're barely, you barely have the concept of conservation down. You know what conservation is? That's knowing that if I take, you know, if I have two stacks of quarters and I spread one stack out, knowing that it's still the same amount of quarters, pouring, uh, you know, two equal size glasses of juices and putting one into a bigger, con like a taller container, knowing that that's still the same amount of juice. Nine-year-olds are barely able to reason in ways, you know, saying that, you know, if I do this, it will help me. If I do this, he's barely beyond the point of reasoning where it's just reward punishment. He is barely edging into his conventional reasoning, his conventional morality. You can't, you can't say that he has adult responsibilities. I mean, shit, his frontal lobe, his prefrontal cortex doesn't even function right yet. Your prefrontal cortex doesn't even start to attach until you're fucking 15. And you know what the prefrontal cortex controls? Impulse control, inhibition. Judgment and long-term planning. All the things it takes to stop you from bringing a sledgehammer and an unloaded gun to school! He doesn't have that yet. You can't pin all this shit on video games. You have to pin it on biology. There are stages of development that human beings go through. And the more we educate ourselves about that, the more we know about psychology and mental illness, the less we're going to blame video games for stupid shit like this. Kids do stupid things. We can't... Give them adult consequences when they do stupid things. It's not necessarily his fault. That's why a 17-year-old who does things like this is mentally ill, but it's kind of okay for a 9-year-old to do it. You are punishing him for something over which he barely had any control. I am sick and tired of fucking children getting punished like adults for this zero tolerance bullshit. There should be some level of fucking tolerance if no one gets hurt. You know why there should be? Because children don't have any fucking impulse control. You can't blame somebody who is incapable of 
inhibiting that sort of thing for doing something that requires the power to inhibit something. That's like saying you should punish glass that is not bulletproof for not being bulletproof. The glass can't fucking help it. The glass has to mature more and develop more before it's bulletproof. Shit, I mean, I couldn't inhibit myself from doing stupid things even a little bit. I didn't have that little twinge before I did something stupid until I was probably 13 or 14. Jesus Christ, that kid's got five years to go before he's even responsible for things like this. Should there be some sort of consequence to tell him not to do it again? Yes, because he has the concept of pre-conventional and conventional morality. He will learn based on reward punishment, and he will learn that this is not good for him. Should we take away all of his fucking video games and leave a felony on his record for seven fucking years? No, that's ridiculous. Bottom line, kids are stupid. Their brains are not developed enough to know the, to know better. Video games are an easy scapegoat, but we need to stop looking at that. We need to admit to ourselves as a culture that children do not have adult brains and therefore should not be given adult responsibility and adult consequences. They don't even understand some of the things for which they're being punished in a lot of cases. And if you are a child and you're trying to defend yourself, stop. It's biological. You can feel that way, but your brain is not that way yet. In five years, your brain will be like that, but right now it isn't. And you shouldn't be forced to accept a consequence of, you know, a 25-year-old when you're nine years old. Because a 25-year-old's brain is almost fully developed, whereas a nine-year-old's brain has been on the planet for nine years, less than half as long. We have to take that into account in cases like this. We need to examine biology and psychology and fucking the possibility of mental illness more than we need to examine what culture is doing. Because the real culprit here is the fucking brain.